So Mayhem Kitchen is kind of, it's non-traditional, and that was the point. I wanted to make it non-traditional because I was watching these um, kitchen shows online that are uh, th throughout the years. I've, I've seen a, a lot of them and, you know, watching like Gordon Ramsay's and people like that in the business. And I'm, I, I hate to pick on him because he has a lot of great ideas. He's a great chef. I'm not trying to take no nothing away from him. But what I'm trying to say is that's just a name that you people would know, a lot of people would know, you know. I sit down and cook. And the reason why I do is because I just worked eight hours the day before. Or maybe I worked that morning or I'm about to go to work that night. And I'm going to be standing on my feet for eight hours to ten hours, you know. Working in a butcher shop or doing whatever I got to do. But that's what I was doing. And I was cooking, and, and I'm still doing it now, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm cooking based on poor food poor food i'm not trying to like go out there and go hey you need to make sure you get you know we're going to do steak tartare today you'll never see me do that uh if you want to i'll show you how to fry bologna you know that kind of stuff and and that was the point because there's a lot of people who do the same kind of cooking shows on youtube and stuff like that they put these fake backgrounds behind them there are no fake backgrounds behind me that is my computer right there you see it uh, I have a light there, I have a light here, I have a light here, and I have one camera. And a little lapel mic to make sure my audio gets picked up. You know, I mean, that's about all I'm going to do. Uh, I'm pretty fast and quick, and I try to get it through there. And then I'll tell you a stupid story, because I've had, I'm almost 50 years old, so I've got a little crazy stories, you know. And I can tell you a few of them, and hopefully I make you laugh while you're cooking, you know. Maybe you're laughing while you're cooking, that's great. But just remember, you don't have to have, I mean, a lot of these people, they make it, they try to make it like it's some superficial great thing and they have this beautiful background. About, you don't have to have a great kitchen. You just have to have a kitchen. Actually, you only have to have fire and a pan and you're good to go because I was in Africa. I lived in Africa for a minute. Trust me, all you need is a pan and some fire and we're off to the races.